The heart is a pump that supplies blood to the entire body and unlike any other organ, it has to continuously work. In order for it to work, it needs to feed itself with both oxygen and food just like every other organ in the body. The way it feeds itself is through arteries that come out of the pipe that comes out of the heart and feeds the heart. Those are called coronary arteries. If any of those arteries have a blockage, one of the solutions is bypass surgery, where what we do is lay new plumbing so the blood can go beyond the blockage and feed the heart. So there is no risk of getting a heart attack or chest pain, any of those complications. In addition to bypass surgery, there are other alternatives to treat the blocked arteries. If there are minor blockages, we manage with medications. If there are critical blockages, but that can be opened up with a catheter procedure, we can open up and put a stent. In a situation where those two options don't exist, something has to be done to bring blood to the heart, then we do bypass surgery. Bypass surgery is done under general anesthesia. It is sometimes done on a beating heart and sometimes it's done with a heart-lung machine support. Both work just fine. The procedure mainly involves opening the chest and taking down left internal mammary artery and some veins from the legs. So these are the conduits or pipes that we use to reroute the blood so the blood can go beyond the blockage. So either with a heart lung machine or a beating heart, we hook up one end at the top in the aorta, other end beyond the blockage to reroute the blood so the blood can go and feed the heart. The cabbage surgery takes about on an average four hours. And uh, at, after the surgery, patient goes to the intensive care unit. He'll still be under anesthesia. He'll have lots of tubes and lines. That's all very common. They look a little bit pale and bloated. That's common. Assuming everything goes well, which is most often the case, over the next couple of hours, patients wake up. And then as they wake up, we reassure them and slowly train them to breathe on their own and take them off the breathing machine when they're ready. Slowly all the lines and tubes and the medications get removed. We feed them, get them up, walk them around, prepare them for discharge. Average hospital stay is about four days. By the time they go home, they will, they'll be able to walk, shower, get dressed and do routine things, but they can't drive, they cannot lift weights for about six weeks. Over the course of four to six weeks, they'll become, resume all their activities. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together.